Do you often feel like your rights are being overshadowed in your relationship? Or perhaps you don't get enough space and time for yourself? Well, this is what often happens when you don't set clear boundaries in your relationship. Of course, you would generally expect the other person to do what is right by you. But then, they'll likely infringe on your rights or personal boundaries if you don't tell them about it. Even the Law of Attraction states that establishing boundaries is one of the only few ways to build a healthy relationship. Without these boundaries, your partner may not even know when they're encroaching on your personal space or doing something you would rather not tolerate. However, you must be considerate when setting your boundaries so that it doesn't become too one-sided that it puts your partner in a disadvantaged position. This means you should strive to only set healthy boundaries that will help make your relationship better. Thankfully, in today's video, I'll reveal the 10 necessary boundaries in a healthy relationship. So be sure to watch and listen attentively till the end so you don't miss any of these crucial boundaries. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more exciting revelations. Now let's get started. Number 10. Showing Gratitude One common quality that's often overlooked in relationships is showing gratitude. But then, this shouldn't be so. The truth is that couples can sometimes feel so entitled that they overlook the importance of showing gratitude and appreciating the other person's efforts. So this is one boundary that should be clearly established at the beginning of a relationship to avoid having disgruntled parties later on. After all, who doesn't want to feel appreciated for their efforts? However, if you don't want to receive gratitude from your partner, you should also state it clearly. But this also shouldn't stop you from showing gratitude on your part. Number 9. Asking for Permission Another essential boundary to set in a relationship is permission-seeking. Of course, we're all adults and have the freedom to do as we see fit. However, being in a relationship entails being in agreement with your partner. So the permission boundary must be established for a relationship to grow. When you ask for permission, you should also know that your intentions may not tally with that of your partners and you're bringing them into your decisions. In simple terms, permission helps relationships to align and this is a necessary boundary. Number eight. Acknowledging and respecting each other's opinions. It's selfish to be opinionated and unwilling to recognize other people's choices, and this is not good for healthy relationships. If you want to build a healthy relationship, then you must be willing to acknowledge and respect your partner's opinions and decisions. Not only should your partner be willing to accept your opinions, it should also be established as a boundary so your opinions do not end up being overlooked. Of course, this does not mean you shouldn't offer advice when necessary. It only means allowing them the freedom to make their own decisions by themselves. Number 7. Avoiding Physical and Mental Abuse Abuse is one common problem in relationships, and it often occurs because people fail to establish or stand by their boundaries. Indeed, this is a severe issue that must be tackled very early. And one of the best ways to do this is by establishing boundaries that prevent you or your partner from abusing each other physically, verbally, or mentally. You should also be intentional enough to act promptly when the other person does not respect this boundary. Here's an extra tip. You should never tolerate not respecting boundaries in a relationship if you want to escape abuse. Have you ever had a partner who disregarded your boundaries? Please drop a comment and tell us what you did about the situation and how it all turned out. Number 6. Respecting each other Mutual respect is an essential quality that helps create healthy relationships. This is why, if a relationship features partners who respect each other, they both end up feeling appreciated and valued. On the other hand, a relationship without mutual respect often leaves room for arrogance and condescension. In fact, psychologists suggest that the most healthy relationships are built on trust and mutual respect. Plus, you'll agree that even boundaries will not be acknowledged if there's no mutual respect between you and your partner. So the first boundary to establish in your relationship is that of respect towards each other. Number 5. Acknowledging each other's identity outside the relationship. Codependency is a typical quality found in relationships, but too much of it may just be doing as much damage as it does good. This is because codependency can often meddle with your personality and that of your partner, making you lose touch with who you are outside the relationship. Of course, codependency isn't such a bad idea, but it is equally essential to be self-aware so you don't lose touch with your identity. Also, it's equally important to respect the other person's identity as well, and this should be a boundary too. You should always remember that you had an identity before the relationship, 
and you shouldn't give up on that identity. Number four, respecting limits. As humans, we have specific limits to what we can tolerate, and we shouldn't be forced beyond these limits. This is why finding a partner who acknowledges and respects your limits is necessary. Of course, it becomes very necessary to establish this boundary in your relationship too, to avoid having your limits crossed. The boundary will also keep you in line and ensure you don't ignore your partner's limits as well. By the way, do you often have problems following through on the boundaries you set? Well, there are many ways to improve on this, but I recommend a session with OnlineTherapy.com. The professionals here are well-trained and equipped to help you enforce your boundaries positively. Number three, offering and accepting help. Another boundary that should be well-established for a healthy relationship is knowing when to offer and accept help. Sadly, people often make the mistake of thinking they're doing right by helping their partner to do everything. And according to psychology, this is most common with men because they often feel the need to be there for their woman, so much so that they end up overstepping. Of course, it is good to be willing to help your partner whenever the opportunity presents itself, but you must ensure you're not violating their boundaries. Sometimes you can limit your partner by helping too much, so you should also give them a chance to test their strengths and know their capacity. Number two, communicating disagreements with respect. It's totally normal to have disagreements in a relationship. In fact, partners must have certain disagreements occasionally if they want to create a healthy relationship. However, the way they communicate their disagreements is what matters most. If you have a different opinion from your partner, you should call their attention to it. But you must learn to do so respectfully without resulting in harsh words or verbal confrontations. Instead, you should learn to wear your opinion politely so it can be considered. Number one, affording each other space when needed. Every relationship needs time and space to flourish, and you must be willing to afford your partner space when they need it. This is one of the most important boundaries to establish in a healthy relationship, but it's also the most difficult to respect. Well, the truth is that your partner needs their personal space to thrive on an individual level, and constantly encroaching on their space can amount to toxicity. Please watch out for our next video where I'll reveal more attraction tips that will help your relationships thrive.